He's best known as one of our leading sportsmen, captaining Port Adelaide in the AFL. But Travis Boak has another passion, and this one is off the field. He's working with the Childhood Cancer Association, drawing on his own personal tragedy to help others face the toughest of challenges. Hello. Hello. How are we? We're good. What's going on? When he's not leading his team into battle, this is where you'll find yeah. Travis Boak. How do you feel when you run out on Tadelaide Open? How do I feel? Yeah. Pretty exciting. Yeah. And it's like winning PlayStation. Bringing rare moments of joy to children fighting cancer. Big kick, Daniel, big kick. Good work. And sharing his own story with grieving families. It comes a point where you realise it was a, a blessing That's that you actually got to spend time yeah. with. Yeah, them, those people and, yeah. and it, it almost you know as you said you look up and it makes you smile the power skipper looks up whenever he runs onto the field remembering the father he lost when he was just 16. you know i always think about you know what my dad went through and and his battle that he had for for a couple of years and um you know he never he never stopped fighting i remember thinking what a nice guy you've put yourself out there to really feel what some families are feeling and bring some hope and some cheer to the people who are having a hard time. The Pannenberg family lost their baby Holly to a rare leukaemia when she was just 11 months old. It was nice to know that there, there was people of his stature that can come in and, and spend that time and, and that it really boosted our morale. Just bring a bit of normal back into our life. Nine-year-old Daniel Di Giovanni battled leukaemia for two years and only this week shared some life-changing news with Travis. There you go, Specky. It's surreal that, to know that he's not going to need chemo, he's not going to need uh, radiotherapy anymore. It's, yeah, he's, he's beaten cancer. Moments like these become special memories for these families, but the reward is just as great for Travis. You can't really worry about those little things in life that that really shouldn't get you down because there's a lot of people a lot worse off. So that's certainly one area that you know that you, you learn a lot from. He was willing to let himself see some of that pain and the feeling of uncomfortableness of being around children who were so so sick. I don't know that he realises just how much of a, a you know an impact he has on people and willing to share their grief. It is really hard, uh, you know, to you form a bit of a, a relationship and bond with these families. I think that's such, such a special gift for the family, but it says a lot about who Travis is and, and what he does for the association as well. Donations can be made through the association's website. Vicky Schwartz, Nine News.